It's a bit hard in the truck zone here. Unbelievable. Good workable soil here. Good morning everyone. We're gonna have a little late start to the day. We know our Ben site's gonna be overfilled this year, so we're trying to truck in the morning a couple of loads and the line was terrible, so the trucks are just rolling in here. We're gonna try to keep one, if not two, hauling the to town, and then these three hopefully can keep up with us. Doubtful, but we'll see what we can do. So we're actually gonna go just a half a mile north here to a 45 acre field to try to do headlands and slow cut up stuff since we're short on trucking and because this this field is producing corn and it's nice and square now so yeah Roger's giving her here with the 5200 whoa so he's uh first day back he's our fall tillage guy and so far we've been able to handle it he's in the two track he's never drove a big frame two so He's learning, but looks like he's doing a good job. So I believe that is a 475 horsepower tractor and it's a Salford 5200 that it's 25 feet. Well, it's doing pretty good. Our 600 will get her up to 10 miles an hour, but obviously it's got more horsepower. But so far, working good. So you should come take a selfie with this rock and send it back to Iowa and say, Welcome to Big Stone County. Look at how big those rocks are. We, we have rocks in my part of Iowa. I don't know about yours. <laughs> I guess there's rocks in Iowa too. So we just got around the field here. This is what it looks like. A lot of time consuming corners and rock pile. And now we finally got her opened up. We're ready to pick some corn. Traffic jam. So we've switched fields here, and as you can see, this is the one that we did a lot of tile in last fall. And so now every time I go through the, the low spot that wasn't planted around, it's just so satisfying, especially since we were a part of like, well, we did it. So all the hard work is paying off. That was, that was awesome. But this whole hill, the carts end up loaded on the north end, and it's basically the whole farm slopes to the north. I'm about down in the bottom now. They get the full loaded carts all the way up there. When the 2596 is fully loaded, the 9RX is at about a five mile an hour operation. But we're getting her done. We're all off. I think it's about a load and a half every time we do a round. So the trucks are really struggling. But everyone needs a snack break every once in a while, right? Well, so far it's been a good day. Just nothing exciting's happened. I don't have nothing to talk about or show you. We're just commenting corn. We did go to another field and punched in, did, I don't know, 30 acres and decided it was just too wet. So we uh, are gonna wipe out this big 14 acre field to finish the night. Unfolding. Come on, little guy. There we go. Well, that didn't take long. That's a wrap on the night. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. And we're back. Still more tired than when I went to bed, but unfortunately, it's looking like rain. We got our trucks in town hauling dry corn to town, and they're literally sitting in the rain, which is kind of coming this direction. So we'll see what we get. We're just fueling up in the shop because we don't want everything all wet. Sprinkling right now. So that's disappointing to wake up to, but whatever, it's what it is.
Well, it's on and off rain, obviously. It's starting to maybe clear up, hoping we avoid more. It's, it's unbelievable how all season you just hope that that rain cloud hits you. And now that we've gotten four inches and it's already very muddy, as you can see, it's like, please don't rain anymore. We wanna keep going harvesting, but you know, you can't control mother nature just like you can't make it rain, you can't make it stop raining. So we're gonna see if we can make some tillage work out here. I don't know how much it rained. Gravel's wet, no dust, but he needs fuel first. Check out the sulfur here, make sure nothing is wrong and everything is working. Nothing is broken. Oh. It's a bit hard in the truck zone here. Unbelievable. I don't know what I'm doing. From combine operator to tillage operator. All right, we're gonna do a round or two, see what we're thinking, if it's gonna work out here due to rain, and Brody will be doing some tillage. At least till noon or so, if you think so. I don't know, we'll see, we'll find out. And I've heard reports that this tractor is undersized and it's being overworked, so we're gonna see on that too. Oh my gosh, we're on. What's going on? We're not RTK here, so. Tilling. Tilling. So this is maybe some of the heaviest ground that we have. And I would agree, she's working her pretty good. We'll have to see what we think. We got her wide open and she's pulling down to 2,000 RPMs. Should be at like 2,200. We may need a gear lower. All right, Brody, it's working. Give her a heck. I'll be looking for it ready. Okay. <laughs> oh god, it almost killed it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at the clumps of mud in the compaction zone. That'll be good crop next year. What are you gonna do? The bees wings are extra special this year. High moisture corn, kind of a disaster on the yard. Look at this tractor. Terrible. Anyways, I'm gonna take this out. All the boys are trucking corn to town. Dad and Randy are kind of floating trucks, managing that. So I'm gonna take this out to the field we combined yesterday. That's gonna be black beans next year. So we're actually gonna spread the fertilizer on that field in the spring because black beans need nitrogen and not that much P and K. So we're just gonna blend it in the spring. Oh, this is nice, this is nice. Just leave the farm nice and dry, now it's downpouring. Windows are getting really speckly. That's interesting. This is the tractor that they polished? Yeah, this is the tractor that they polished. And look at how the water is beating off of the windshield instead of sticking on in drops. That's cool. They did the glass too. Pretty damp out here. We'll see if it works or not. My only concern is that the rolling baskets on this is gonna plug up. We'll see, it's still raining, but there's no mud on the tractor tracks because we're driving on the trash, so that's okay. Uh, I said on the degrees, this over here is a little bit lighter. I maxed out the degrees. That was at 11 degrees on the angle gain. This is at 15 degrees. The tractor's pulling it fine at 11 miles an hour. It's at 75% load, so we're just gonna, just gonna walk with her so far. No plugging issues, I think it's gonna work. All right, I just finished up the headlands. It has quit raining. Uh, it's still pretty gloomy out, obviously, but it looks pretty dang good. I'm very satisfied with this job. I'm gonna jump across an 80 here to a quarter, and I believe Brody is there with the 5200. He got done in the last field, so let's get it out of here. It's a, it's a tight way into this field. really nice grass driveway here. It's kind of steep too, so this thing kind of gets a little bit tippy looking. There's Brody! Hi Brody! This ain't gonna take long with two, two going. Oh, fence post. Nearly avoided. 
something about tillage is just such a satisfying job. I, I do enjoy it. You're stealing all my work, Brody. Look at him go. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know, they're doing a comparable job, I would say. Yeah, well there's the line for you. Yours is just more rougher, which is good. Well, we're all caught up just like that on tillage behind the combines. That We got a couple of little fields, but there's no fertilizer spread on them, so... Maybe the boys are ready to go combine corn. It hasn't rained in a couple hours, so hopefully the plants are drying off. Maybe we can knock some acres out. Well, the sun's starting to poke through. Let's go combine. Look at how Big Wheels fills up a road. <laughs> so he just completed the first field. It was three acres. Literally this little patch here. But it yielded good and it was 28% moisture. So we're going to another field. But we're trying to pick off, since the corn's wet and we want to do something, we're just kind of doing the time consuming little fields, cut up stuff. Waiting for the sun and the warm weather to dry the beans down so we can do that. And hopefully while we're doing that, the corn dries down more, and away we go. There's Duggo, doing his rounds. Oh, Randy pulled in this approach. And I believe he's in four-wheel drive, but he says he's stuck. Look oh, at how he's been. deer hunting the deer is a half a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You gotta gas it. My God, I didn't need your yankum rope. I got out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, traction control. <laughs> so I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of lodging in this field, tipping over, broke off. It's a good thing we're here when we are before it's all tipped over. So it seems to be in the drier areas, areas of the field that the stock is not doing well. The headlands were absolutely horrible. Lots of uh, Stopping, backing up, getting out, kicking off the head because it wouldn't feed in. Oh yeah. And we have, I think, like 350 acres of this variety. So that is one reason also that people plant lots of different day varieties just because, you know, if one don't perform one year, or maybe it worked last year and now this year in a different condition, like drill stress, it starts tipping over. You do not want all your acres to be that variety. But then when there's a really good variety, then you wish that all of them were that variety. But you gotta, you gotta be smart. You could be smart because I would be very, very disappointed if we had all our corn acres looking like this. And with that being said, this variety is not yielding as good as the last ones either. I will say though, it, it's better, cleaner sample. Like, no cobs in it. Pioneer for the win. No cobs in the tank. Oh boy. They've been going out of there, but now that I truck have a is stuck. That ain't gonna be good. Oh yeah, we gotta bake or puke a little bit here. Puking. How about now? That don't sound good. And we're back. And it don't feed good when the stocks come in because of the lodge corn. It likes to plug my auger and my feeder house having fun. Oh man. We're getting some. Doing our best. We've shut down for the night. It really got bogged down there towards the end due to the truck that was stuck and they had to, they tried pulling on it, decided it was too heavy and dangerous so they actually ended up offloading it with a backhoe conveyor onto another semi and then pulled it out. So long story short, we just decided to quit because it was taking so long. I really wish I could have been there but I don't think attitudes were the best for the camera. <laughs> As one could imagine. All right, with that being said, guys, I'm gonna grease my head, go get a conveyor out of the field, and uh, call it the end of the video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I know it was all over the place, but that's kind of what our life's been right now. It's never experienced a harvest quite like this. It's different, it's more laid back, I, I might say, but it's different. So thanks for joining along. We'll see you guys next time.